She wanted everything except the Lord who died for her on the cross. Alas, what has she gained? Well, now, coming back to the scene in hell, I was horrified to find, as I said, millions of evil angels. And uh, they have a head for each department. And uh, there's a department called lying department. So these are lying spirits. And then the witchcraft department. So the moment they get an opportunity, they rush. And uh, whatever havoc they want to create, they, they are asked to do, they will gladly do. Now, what is the purpose of uh, this evil spirit? To woo as many people as possible to help. That is their main purpose. Now, they know their end is doomed. If you read John 16, 11, Matthew 25, 41, and in so many other places, say, um, Matthew uh, 13, in so many other places, you know that their end is sealed. So they would love to drag as many people as possible to hell, to be with them. So, then I, I saw the sickness department. In the sickness department, there are subdivisions. Each devil can create its own sickness. Then uh, the, the, the friend who brought her to me is also a believer, a spiritual man. And my wife was there and I was uh, asking that demon to go. The one stare she gave me, I was horrified. Oh, she would roll from this end to the other end and then roll back. And every time she was trying to catch hold of my neck. That was a new experience for me. <laughs> and she was trying to catch hold of my neck to, uh, neck to stand. But the, as her hands would come very near me, I'd find another hand coming in between and stop her hand. Her hands could not touch me. But I could not drive the devil away. So that night, when uh, I finished everything, it's my practice before I go to bed. Around 11 o'clock I used to pray. And uh, the Lord Jesus came. He sat by my side. He knew my question. So, he looked and I saw very beautiful young woman coming to me. She came, knelt before Jesus. She, she told me her story. I lived in such and such a street, such and such a village. And my husband is a terrible man. And he wanted to marry somebody else. So, when I was pregnant, I think eight months or so, he strangled me to death. And when he was strangling me, I wanted to strangle his neck just to escape. I tried my level best, but sir, he killed me. So I didn't know what to do. And I saw this woman. She was a, a God-fearing woman, all right, but very arrogant woman. And uh, she cannot control her tongue. So I said, this is the right person. I can't hold up her. <laughs> and uh, so that's why, sir, it's my habit to strangle them. Next. Necks of other because I tried my level best to strangle the neck of my husband. husband and cried and cried and cried. 
and uh, the Lord Jesus said, Go. Bowed its head and went. That's the end of the story. Of the As you go to this witchcraft department, when men and women give themselves up for practicing witchcraft, after some time they become helpless. They take the upper hand. Of course, when they... In the beginning it doesn't appear like that. Yes, in the it, beginning... It looks, it's very interesting. You too. are the master of the whole thing. Oh, okay. Later on they become your master. <laughs> so, this is terrible. These evil spirits, they are terrible and they can kill you. So likewise, several, 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 several departments. This is one side. On the other side, when the souls of the people who are not prepared to die, die, when they are not prepared to meet their God, when their sins are not forgiven, or when they mock at the people who tell them about God, His love, His sacrifice on the cross, when they die, oh, it's terrible. If you read Matthew 8, 12, Matthew 13, 42 and 50, and uh, uh, in uh, so many other places, say Matthew 25, 30, to be very specific. When these souls come, they are in great numbers. And from there, Satan, by his power, makes them see heaven. The place where they could have gone. Could have been. And when they see that, their heart is broken. Oh, my mom told me. My pastor told me. The evangelist told me. That brother told me. But I did not listen. To what a place have I come? And you see, it is group after group after group and group and group and group in heaven. Group after group after group, all singing the praise of Jesus and rejoicing in the presence of God. Not knowing how to praise Him, that is their problem. How to praise Him. <laughs> to what a place I have I come. How to, that their problem. Here. Oh, that uh, agony is piercing. As the angel and myself, as he walked, their uh, scream is, uh, really breaks your heart to pieces. And uh, then, there is a place called the lake of fire. Now, I do not know why some are here, why some are in the lake of fire. Most uh, horrifying thing about this lake of fire is the wall around the lake of fire, though it looks like a big ocean and it has tides. Now, you, you see, if you see in the marina, you see the water tide. Here it is the tide of fire. The waves. Waves of fire. And the soul is tormented. Tormented. And uh, sometimes these uh, souls are thrown out by the fire. Exactly as a human body is thrown away by the waves of the sea. And they feel so relieved, they try to climb up the walls of that sea and escape. But the walls are made of big, straight-cut mountain. Straight-cut mountain. So you cannot uh, escape it. But still they try to enter. Then, that fire, it has life, 
not like the earthly Amen. fire, it has life. Like the tongue of a cobra, it comes, catches them back. The scream which comes out of their tongue that time is terrible. Oh, it's pathetic. They so thought they would escape, but they once would escape. again they are being yes. pulled into it. They are allowed to escape. When they are on the verge of escape, it comes. And pulls them back. And pulls them back. And the most horrifying thing is, it is Satan who decides. First of all, he makes them cry and cry and cry and cry and lament and mourn. Oh, what a good place I could have gone. Mental torture. Then physical torture. Physical torture in the sense, the soul is tortured in this fire. It is even now burning. Of course, according to 20, Revelation 20.10, Satan himself is going to that fire only. Finally. That is why he is uh, so scared. And before he goes, he wants to Take as many so people as possible. And the saddest thing, people all the time thinking of money, 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 fame, 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 philosophy, philosophy, philosophy. Where this philosophy is going to end? He was so upset. And uh, he went to the chief priest, here are the 30 pieces of silver, take it and release my Lord. Take this, but give back my Lord. But they didn't oblige and he committed suicide. Now, when his spirit came, just because he was one of the chosen vessels, the Lord Jesus Christ had. In Luke chapter 6 and verse 12, the whole night he prayed and chose the 12 disciples. And he was one. <laughs> but later on he says in John chapter 6, 64 and verse 70, he says, I have chosen 12 of you, but one of you is a devil. devil. <laughs> but he carried the devil with him. <laughs> Nevertheless, when the soul of Judas came to hell. The Lord said, keep him away. And he said, nobody should torture him. The devil was not allowed to torture him. So, you see the soul of Judas, if you read John 17, 12, he's called the son of perdition. So, you see the soul of uh, Judas, your heart is moved. It, it is a part of hell, but he is not with the other group that is gnashing and wailing and mourning. Nor his soul is in the fiery furnace. On the other hand, alone. Loneliness. Loneliness, all wilderness, alone. And I saw that spirit in great agony will sit for some time. Then it will become very impatient. And then he will say, I betrayed him. I betrayed him. And scream. No rest night and day. Very pathetic. So backslide is easy. To backslide is easy. But to remain Faith. to the end is difficult.